For this section of Wednesday, uh, Wednesday's homework, I've put in a second video because the videos are getting rather long. So for page 455, we're doing the even problems. And so I'll try to demonstrate with some odd examples. Uh, set 75, uh, let's say point C. So where is point C? Well, notice that between 1 and 2, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts. So these are fractions and sixths, all right? So point C is at hole number one and two sixths of the distance between one and two. So that's one and two sixths, which is the same as one and one third. <clears throat> draw a number line to show each set of numbers, then order the numbers. Well, I'll take this example, number 7, because they're all divided by 10. So we've got 1 and 3 tenths. We've got 15 tenths, which actually, if you break it down, divide 10 into 15. comes out one point five. Okay. So that's actually one and five tenths. And then we got seven tenths. So the order would be seven tenths and then one and three tenths. And then finally, one and five tenths. Okay, deciding problems. If you have extra or missing information, I'll leave these up to you to do. Down on set seven, seven, two fractions that name each shaded part. Number two is interesting because it looks like, I can't really tell what is shaded or not. But on number three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 16 total parts and four of them are shaded. So that's four divided by 16. And if we divide both sides by four, we get one fourth. And that's the fraction that names that shaded part. Now, making fractions equivalent, we need to fill in some numbers here. <clears throat> so, let's try number three. Two and nine somethings are equivalent to 2 and 36 fortieths. Well, 9 divides into 36 four times. So 4 divides into 40 10 times. So the answer actually is 2 and 9 tenths. So again, divide 9 into 36. Take that number and divide it into 40. And that gives you the answer down here. On number 9, Thomas is taking a math test. There are 21 problems. 21 problems and he's two-thirds of the way through. So what the question really is is how many of the 21 
is equal to 2 over 3. OK. So I divide three into twenty one and I get seven. Two of those sevens correspond to the fraction two thirds. So two times seven is fourteen. So Two thirds equals 14 of the 21 problems. And in fact, if you reduce 14, if I divide by 7, I get 2. And divide 21 by 7, and I get 3. So that's the answer to that one.